A new Wordle puzzle is online. Click on the link to play. Listening to the following video may give you clues. Please like and share the videos. DSTV Premiership TS Galaxy v Orlando Pirates the 2nd of May 2022. If you are watching DSTV Premiership TS Galaxy and Florida Panthers, you must be wondering about the outcome of the game. Thankfully, we have some insights into what happened during the game. TS Galaxy 1 Omezero. Read on for more information. Also, check out our recap from last season, where TS Galaxy beat Orlando Panthers 2-1. DSTV Premiership TS Galaxy vs Orlando Pirates The DST Premiership TS Galaxy won their match against Orlando Pirates Onezero on Monday. Lafahlawain's first half strike secured a vital three points for the team. The win lifted TS Galaxy to 13th place on the log, eight points ahead of last-placed Baroka FC. Baroka now have four matches remaining and 12 points to play for. They will face Lumet Bull Golden Arrows on witness day if game between the Rockets and the Buccaneers is another one to watch. The Galaxy and the Pirates had a very unpleasant encounter in December, when the Galaxy's owner Tim Sukazi clashed with Pirate security officers. This resulted in the Buccaneers winning the game 2-0. If the Pirates win, they will move into the top two buff teams or chasing promotion, but the Galaxy will be looking to avoid relegation. Pirates are currently in third place, while Galaxy are in a relegation battle. Both sides have had good starts, but the Pirates will need to improve their defense and attack to keep their season alive. There is no better time to make a statement than this Pirates have lost three straight games after losing to Chippa United on Monday. TS Galaxy have now gone one point clear of the Pirates in the DSTV Premiership standings. The team made three changes from the previous match bringing back Goodman Massell to the starting lineup. In the first half, Happy Gel had a chance to put the Buccaneers ahead. The Buccaneers had a chance to go ahead in the ninth minute but failed to convert, and Terence Zuecomenja steered a loose ball over target. Before half time, Galaxy had been looking for a response, but they failed to find a solution. Despite several forays, the Rockets held Pirates at bay. They pressed for a second goal but settled for the one-goal lead at the break. Galaxy made a double change at the start of the second half, bringing on Quaim Pepra and Fortune Macquarie. Soon after the restart, Galaxy had a clear shot on goal, but keeper Richard Afori denied Orbot Simon G. DSTV Premiership TS Galaxy beats Orlando Pirates 1-0. In a match that was marred by an off-field brawl, TS Galaxy beat Orlando Pirates on Mizero on 2 May 20 minus 22. Orlando Pirates' defeat means that they will have to finish second in the league this season in order to qualify for the CF Champions League. The Pirates have won only one of their last four league matches, and the defeat leaves them in fourth position. The Buccaneers are currently in fourth place in the DSTV Premiership log standings, five points behind Royal AM. TS Galaxy will be determined to secure all three points, while Orlando Pirates will be determined to avoid the relegation zone. This was stated by TS Galaxy co-coach Fedlu Davids to the official Orlando Pirates media division. The win lifts TS Galaxy out of the DSTV Premiership relegation zone and puts them in contention for a top-four finish. Orlando Pirates have not scored in their last three league games and dropped points in their battle for a top-two finish. The Pirates had drawn Chippy United and Baroka in consecutive games and failed to score a goal in their previous games. The ninth-minute chance for the Buccaneers was wasted, while Happy Dell's strike from the edge of the box missed target. The first half was dominated by Pirates, although they did not translate their dominance into goals. Galaxy adopted a cautious approach and looked to hit the Bucks on the counter. Lindo Klumbatha and Happy Joel combined to play one another in the penalty area. The midfielder then pulled back a pass for Huang Wayne to tap in. The Pirates stepped up the tempo in the second half, putting Galaxy under sustained pressure and threatening to score again. The first half saw the Buccaneers press for a second goal, but they could only muster a single goal. At halftime, Galaxy made a double substitution, replacing Jell and Tambo with Queen Pepra and Fortune Macquarie. A chance for a second came a minute later, 
but the buccaneers were able to pin the rockets in their own half. In the 65th minute, Tembinkosi Lorch's half volley just missed the target. DSTV Premiership TS Galaxy beats Orlando Pirates. TS Galaxy won their match against Orlando Pirates on Ezero on Saturday, moving three points clear of the relegation zone. The win lifted TS Galaxy up two positions on the log to 13th position with 26 points and extended their unbeaten run to four games. The loss dropped Meritzburg United down to 14th position on 24 points, while Swallows FC remain in the relegation playoff berth. The match ended 1-0 in the first half, and Galaxy made two substitutions at the break, replacing Kwame Pepra and Lorch. Within a minute of the restart, the visitors had a clear chance as Orobitz Monga had a shot blocked by goalkeeper Richard Afari. Pirates substitute Lorch dominated play in the second half but missed a cross from Quain Pepra. He then drove a half-volleyed effort into an overcrowded penalty area, but his effort went wide. Arrows are currently third on the table after beating Mama Lodi Sundowns 3-0. The Tsk Premiership table is currently dominated by Baroka FC and Orlando Pirates, with each having five points. The defending champions are on 44 points from 22 games. Kaiser Chiefs and Orlando Pirates sit in fifth place and could move up if Mama Lodi Sundowns fail to win their match. TS Galaxy dominated the first half of the game and dominated possession. The game started slow but eventually ended in a Onezero Galaxy win. It's a defining match for the club in the Dst Premiership. The Galaxy's players were incredibly confident in their ability to win and keep the ball in the opposition's net. The game was played at Mbombela Stadium in Nelspreet, South Africa. Although the Pirates dominated the first half, their dominance in the game did not translate into goals. Galaxy opted to play cautiously and hit the Bucks on the counter-attack. Lindokul Mabatha and Happy Yele combined for a clever move that led to Halongwain's tap-in. Pirates were looking for a response in the second half, but the Galaxy held firm and threatened to score again. 